Our universe continues to grow, making it difficult to establish its limits and determine its size. We are now able to make use of the James Webb Telescope to look into the farthest reaches of the entire universe. Since the James Webb Telescope began its exploration, numerous scientists, including Brian Cox, have made announcements that reveal the actual size and vastness of the universe, which is nearly impossible to grasp within the fragment we can observe. There are a little over two trillion galaxies. This estimate is derived from research into the local universe. We are confident that the section we can see is only a portion of what is possible. There may be a universe that is infinite, but we do not yet know. We're not separate from the universe, but are an integral part of it. In a way, we are the means by which the universe is aware of itself, thanks to the James Webb Telescope and the extensive research undertaken to locate the real magnitude of our universe. If you're interested in learning more about the universe and its areas, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to enjoy this video and activate the notification bell. If we were traveling at 70 miles from Prof, it would take us approximately 15 days to complete one round around the equator of the Earth. It would take roughly five months to reach the moon, 63 years to reach Mars at its closest point, and an incredible 4,400 years to reach Neptune. These numbers demonstrate the immense scale of our solar system. To contextualize this, consider the Voyager 1 spacecraft, which was launched in 1977. Traveling at a speed of 38,000 dalam rumbi, it didn't leave the solar system until 2012. This means that just getting out of our solar system took 35 years. Even uniform light, capable of circumnavigating the globe seven times in one second, seems quite slow in comparison to the vastness of our solar system. And despite this vastness, our solar system is dwarfed by the Milky Way's immense size. The contents of this galaxy include approximately 300 billion stars, most of which likely have their own planetary systems. The star that is closest to us, Alpha Centauri, is 4.3 light years away. Therefore, if we were to travel at the speed of light, it would take us 4.3 years to get there. Now consider how long it would take to travel to the next star system, Alpha Centauri. Even if something were moving in the same direction as the Voyager probe at 38,000 Dalton Po, it would require an incredible 70,000 years to reach Alpha Centauri. This reveals the immense distances involved in exploring the universe. Now let's concentrate on Veltar Rouge, a star located 640 light years away. If we take into account what we call the radio sphere, which represents the distance our radio signals have traveled over the past century, we find that the signals, though degraded significantly, have so far reached about 15,000 star systems. However, this figure is only a fraction compared to the number of stars in the Milky Way. If you look at Rouge in the night sky tonight, you're actually seeing the light that left its surface 640 years ago, roughly 100 years before. Columbus set sail for the New World. This light has struggled for all that time and is just now making its way to our planet. It's amazing to realize that Veltar Rouge, on a universal scale, is relatively close. To amaze you even more, we must consider that the radio sphere, which includes the entirety of human radio transmissions, is merely a minuscule spot in the vastness of the Milky Way. To help us visualize this, if our solar system were reduced to the size of a quarter, the United States would be an analogy for the vastness of our galaxy. In this enormous area, about 300 billion stars and their planetary systems would exist. We are just one. Each one of those 300 billion star systems is floating in the middle of an incomprehensibly immense number of planets and stars. Beyond our galaxy are at least a trillion more. Yes, a trillion. A trillion is an incredibly large number. To understand it, imagine a collection of 1,000 cats. Now suppose there are a 1,000 distinct groups of cats, each with 1,000 cats. That would give us a total of 1 million cats. To understand a trillion, we must remember that a million already seems like a lot, but a trillion equals 1 million multiplied by 1 million, a staggering number of cat encounters. 
Our nearest neighboring galaxy is the Andromeda Galaxy, located 2.5 million light years away. Andromeda is rapidly approaching us. As this galaxy gets closer, our night sky will undergo significant changes. Approximately 1 trillion stars are in that galaxy. When it eventually comes into contact with our galaxy, the Milky Way, which has 300 billion stars, the chances of individual stars from both galaxies colliding are quite slim. This demonstrates how vast space is and the low probability of direct interactions even in galactic collisions. Although rare at the level of individual stars, such collisions may even make it easier for stars to meet. Galaxies are not stationary systems. They are dynamic and constantly evolving. As we look further beyond our galaxy, we see our local group of galaxies followed by the Virgo cluster, which contains more than 1 out of 500 galaxies. Virgo is part of a larger supercluster known as Laniakea, which contains approximately 100,000 galaxies. Each of these galaxies has hundreds of billions of its own stars and planets, and this is only a portion of the overall picture. In the observable universe, there are another 10 million similar superclusters. As we zoom out, we discover an increasing number of mapped galaxies, that is, galaxies that have been identified. These mapped galaxies represent only a minuscule portion of what is actually out there. There are hundreds of billions of galaxies that haven't yet been fully mapped. In addition, we must consider the cosmic background radiation, which symbolizes the oldest detectable light. It is the residual heat left over from the Big Bang, a remnant of the early stages of the universe's existence. The scale of the universe becomes even more unbelievable when we think about the vastness that lies beyond galaxies. We find regions in space known as cosmic voids where matter is scarce compared to the universe as a whole. These cosmic voids are enormous, spanning distances of hundreds of millions of light years in diameter, and appear as extensive stretches of space. Despite the appearance of emptiness, these gaps in the cosmos have the potential to give rise to the formation of future structures and galaxies. As we move deeper into the cosmos, we encounter cosmic filaments, enormous threads composed of dust, gas, and dark matter that stretch across billions of light years. These filaments connect galaxies and clusters of galaxies. They create a structure like a cosmic web that binds the universe together. The distribution of matter in the universe exhibits a cosmic web pattern, not a uniform one, where clusters and superclusters of galaxies are connected by these cosmic filaments. Intricate Tapestry of the Universe The universe is an intricate tapestry that spans an incredible distance. It is within these cosmic superclusters and filaments that galaxies congregate, interacting through gravity. The vastness of space offers a large and plentiful stage for the existence of countless celestial objects and phenomena. Among these are supernovae, the explosive deaths of massive stars. These events disperse heavy elements throughout the universe, enriching the interstellar, medium and contributing to the formation of planetary systems. Black holes also play a crucial role. Their immense gravity shapes the evolution of galaxies and enables them to release powerful jets of energy that reach deep into space. In these depths, we find exotic phenomena such as quasars, supermassive black holes that feed on intermittent matter and produce enormous amounts of energy. These quasars can outshine entire galaxies and act as early lighthouses of the universe, allowing us to investigate the cosmos in its infancy. But the question arises, what lies beyond what can be seen? There are numerous galaxies that remain invisible, to us, simply because their light hasn't reached Earth yet. Additionally, due to the constant expansion of space and the motion of galaxies, many of these distant galaxies will remain forever unreachable. These areas may stay inaccessible to us indefinitely. As the universe continues to expand, we rely on our understanding of physical laws to make inferences. 
These suggest that the entire universe is at least 250 times larger than the observable universe, and possibly even infinite. In this context, a broader perspective emerges, leading us to consider the nature of the universe and our place within it. We exist on a secluded planet, orbiting an ordinary star in the vastness of space. Contemplating these possibilities invites us to reflect on our existence and our role in the cosmos. So have you ever wondered how vast our universe truly is? If that's the case, I hope this video helped you gain a deeper understanding of the immensity of the cosmos. Feel free to use the comment box to ask questions. Click the like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe so you don't miss future content. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. As we continue our journey through the universe, it's important to remember that our understanding is always evolving. New instruments, like the James Webb Space Telescope, have opened possibilities once reserved for science fiction. These tools allow us to peer into the early universe and analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets, bringing us closer to answering one of the most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? In recent years, astronomers have discovered tens of thousands of exoplanets orbiting distant stars. Many of these exist within the habitable zone, the region around a star where liquid water may exist under the right conditions. Some are Earth-sized and rocky, others are gas giants, icy worlds, or ocean planets with subsurface seas. Their sheer number, estimated to be in the billions in our galaxy alone, suggests that life-supporting conditions may not be as rare as once believed. Beyond the search for life, the universe holds countless mysteries. Consider dark matter and dark energy. Together, they make up about 95% of the universe's total mass energy content. Dark matter, though invisible, exerts gravitational forces that affect galaxy movements and the structure of the cosmic web. Dark energy, meanwhile, is believed to drive the accelerated expansion of the universe. Despite their major influence, both remain largely theoretical and undetected directly. Then there's the concept of the multiverse. Some physicists suggest our universe may be just one of an infinite number, each with its own dimensions, physical laws, and potential for life. These alternate universes could be entirely disconnected from ours, or they might exist in higher dimensional space, accessible only through quantum or mathematical theory. While speculative, the idea expands our imagination of what might lie. Beyond time, too, is relative. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time slows near massive objects, a phenomenon known as gravitational time dilation. This means that time aboard a space station orbiting close to a black hole would pass more slowly than on Earth, a mind-bending concept confirmed by experiments with important implications for space travel and our understanding of space-time. Speaking of black holes, they are not just cosmic vacuum cleaners. They are extreme engines of physics. Nearly every massive galaxy contains a central black hole with a mass millions or billions of times greater than our sun. These colossal entities can shape galactic evolution, regulate star formation, and launch jets of energy that stretch across galactic arms. Even more exotic are theoretical wormholes, bridges through space-time that could connect distant parts of the universe or even different universes entirely. Though still theoretical and fraught with stability issues, wormholes continue to captivate scientists and science fiction alike. But amidst all this vastness, complexity, and awe-inspiring scale, here we are, a species on a tiny planet made of rock, orbiting an average star in a quiet corner of a galaxy among trillions. And yet, we are capable of asking the biggest questions, building tools to study the stars, and imagining realities far beyond our own. Every image sent back by a space telescope, every whispering radio wave crossing light years, every particle detected deep beneath the Earth. These are the ways we chip away at the unknown. Bit by bit, we illuminate the darkness of the cosmos and deepen our understanding of it.
So, as we gaze at the night sky, we are not merely seeing points of light. We are looking into the past, into the very fabric of space-time, into mysteries not yet solved. Not only is the universe vast, it is a testament to our boundless curiosity and our unyielding drive to explore.